It's um, 31st of January 2018 uh, at 6.20pm. Uh, uh, this is a scene from the Philippines. I was going to use it as a, um, as, a as the home page on my web page for the Friendly Club. Um, but I quickly found I showed it to a few people and because I was doing the I was doing the web page initially for AB and uh, and I was like is that where she lives I thought oh my god father and I hadn't thought of that she probably does live in something like that I didn't know what a house looked like and uh, and then AB I was speaking to AB and she said oh look it's very nice Curie but she's very disciplined she's how about a nice beach house or something and I was like, yeah like she, you know, she's like, oh, God, Father. But I, I didn't want it as a, as, a, as a sex sort of thing. I wanted it as a, you know, I guess something I'd, I'd like to do. I mean, I'd, I'd love to just sort of imagine going and visiting somebody in a, in a house like that. I don't want the, the ritzy, glitzy bullshit. I want, I want something like that. I just, uh, that's just me. So I sort of tend to do what I, you know, I like myself. But anyway, the, um, the, the reason for this video was prompted in part by... Uh, Kurt, I, I did a shout out to Kurt2022 and I asked him for some intel on what, what he thought why women just cut you off. And he he wrote back and he said, oh, look, I don't know if this is what you want or, I, you know, it, it's, but, but the woman that he'd been talking about, cut him off, was Mexican. He's in Texas, about nine miles from the, the Mexican border. And, you know, when he didn't want to marry her, that was it, chop. Okay. I'm guessing she wanted immigration, you know, she wanted legality, she was illegal. And that made me, and I, and I was talking, I thought, oh yeah, fair enough, that makes sense. And uh, I was, I was uh, thinking about Floor, this relationship I'd had with Floor, and I thought, oh, okay. Yeah, because she chopped as well, as soon as I said, no, I don't want, I don't want to get married. And she said, no. Nah. Well, she didn't say no, she didn't say anything, she just chopped. And... At the time, I, you know, I thought, well, yeah, why? What's going on? You know, what happened? You know, I mean, fair enough, I don't want to marry you. Do we have to, you know, cut everything? Well, the situation is, uh, I think for third world women, for a lot of them anyway, for them, life is a business. Okay, she was after a husband. You know, she wasn't, she, she was honest about that. She said, yeah, I want a husband. Okay. Um, as my friend Bryce said, yeah, probably a retirement plan. <laughs> Um, but that was her plan. She wanted she wanted a husband, and she'd been with another guy. And I came along, and she sort of put the other guy on hold, and started with me. And you know, after I said I might be married, I thought, yeah, okay. And then I got to thinking, I thought this other guy is quite jealous. You know, he didn't like any her talking to any other men, any anybody that was potentially a threat to him. You know, she wasn't even allowed to say welcome on cam. So it, it occurred to me after talking to Kurt that uh, maybe she just wanted to get, yeah, okay, if you don't want to marry me, fine, but fuck off out of the way. I don't want you fucking me up, okay, because I want to try and land this other guy. And I thought, yeah, okay, that makes sense. All right, it's just, I hadn't thought of it until Kurt told me about that. But I thought, yeah, okay, that's, yeah, that, yeah, get, get out of the way. I mean, and I've got to take that on board, and, I, and particularly there. I mean, it's only a two-week relationship, but there's nothing... Like, and it didn't bother me to move on, didn't give a shit. I'd actually been thinking, and I'll come back to this in a moment, with longer-term relationships, particularly where there are children involved, why well, cut the man off altogether? Can't, can't you work something out? That's what I was driving at. But, but looking at... You know, I was hoping that looking at a short-term relationship, ultra-short-term relationship, may oh, sort of encapsulate, you know, sort of take a little snapshot of what they're like there and maybe they're no different after 30 years so it could be could be the, the basis of it it could be that um yeah i was just in the way you know she, she didn't want to risk anything with the other guy it, you know she because she went straight back to him which makes sense she, she wants she's 50 okay she's going to hit the wall sooner or later it won't be soon i won't be long now i mean 50 you know, maybe you get to 55 so she, yeah, she wants to get in before she she hits the wall. So, yeah, I I, I told W J was it? I was speaking to somebody about. Um, no, it wasn't W J. I can't remember his name. Um, that, that I don't justify anything. Well, here I am justifying flaws behaviour. 
I also told him that I wasn't going to the stores anymore. I wasn't buying anything locally. I couldn't believe it. As soon as I finished doing the video to him, I went straight over to a, a store in town and lay by a big TV because I've only got this one. And it had just come on, si on sale. So I thought, yep, I'll have that. <laughs> yeah, so so much for saying that. And I was thinking, I was thinking that oh, why didn't I say something useful like, oh, I never want to win the lottery. <laughs> it'd be a far better thing to you know never have that happen to you yeah but anyway it, 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 I also I, I was thinking about I thought oh, I have to cover, I have to address that thing that, that I spoke to Kurt about but also if if I can be of any help to to new MGTOW who who have who are considering um, a, a third world woman uh, it, it's it occurs to a lot of men I was actually chatting on the site before I separated, uh, but I continue to do so. And I've met a lot of guys there who just said, fuck it, I won't have anything to do with Western women. Um, and, and they try to find, uh, trying to find uh, happiness and love with, uh, with Filipinos or with Indonesians or, or with someone from the third world. <clears throat> um, and, and invariably, a lot of them uh, become disillusioned and get disenchanted with it because you know for them life is a business that's all there is to it you know they live in places like that and they want out uh, that's actually believe it or not one of the better places because a lot of them have got holes in the roof you know and the rain comes you know pours in when it rains so you know they've got a hard life a really really hard life um, yeah so guys go there looking for love and these people are just looking for you know money and security and security and more security and money and nice home ab for example will sit in looking at, at cams and she just looks at where people live because her place is a dive so she says um and she just looks at other things she doesn't like me because i put up green screens like this which is probably worse than where she's living <laughs> well, maybe it makes her feel better i have no idea yeah but it's it's um and the other thing, if if you ever, I don't know what the Mexicans are like, but uh, it it doesn't take long before you get scammed if you try the Philippines. Um, yeah, they and 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 scamming by scamming, I I take it to mean yeah, they'll take money and offer you nothing. Um, and, and a lot of them are proud of it. You know, they can offer you absolutely nothing and get good money from you. And probably abuse you at the same time. Uh, so don't be, you know, it, it, it's an option. It's, it's you know, particularly if you're feeling lonely and what have you. I mean, you go on, so you, you might go into some sort of chat site uh, and meet a Filipino. But don't expect, uh, I, 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 look, if you find love, that's fantastic. But I, I'd say go into it expecting to find uh, not to not to find love, but to find people looking for money, okay. And at any chance, they'll scam you. And I'll tell you that I love you. You're a wonderful guy, and something. But as soon as you say you're not, you, know, you, you haven't got money or not interested in marriage or something, they'll be telling the next guy the same thing because that's what they're living. They want out, <clears throat> and there's no other way of getting out unless somebody helps them out. Um, I, I'm not saying it's for all women, right? I'm not saying that at all, or for all third world women. Um, but my responsibility is, to, if I do have one, is to to MGTOW in the West. And uh, you know, if, if if I can sort of give you an honest appraisal of it, you might it might help you out a bit. I, I still talk to AB. I still love AB. I think she's great, uh, but she wants money. Okay, um, you know, she's I don't know no illusion. She tells me that she knows that. <clears throat> and she knows I know, uh, but but uh, that's the relationship I have with her. Um, it, it, so I don't know. Like like I've got another friend, Boomba, that I often speak speak about. He has no money with her. She's Eastern European from Romania. I don't know what she's the only Eastern European person I know. Uh, but I find her great. I think she might be a bit rare. I'm not sure. I'd love some feedback on that, but. No, she's really no. Like, oh, she was oh last year or so. She was living on three or four dollars a week. 
are living with a mother in a in a flat in Bucharest, on three and, and had three or four dollars a week to spend. And I said, oh, "Can I buy you something? Can I buy it? No, no, don't want it. Thanks, thanks, no thanks." And that, uh, I refused, flat out refused. She also flat out refused to cam and do all that sort of thing. But but no, uh, she's just not. No friendship is free. She said. And we used to. I used to argue about it with her because I, I listened to what AB had said, you know, and I thought, oh, you, because AB, you, could, <laughs> you don't have to argue with AB to give her money. Uh, yep, she'll take it. <clears throat> um, and I, I said, you know, can't, because I wanted to buy her a headset. No, no, oh, pig-headed. Uh, just no, just would not budge. Um, uh, that's, I don't know, I, I, is it a good thing, is it a bad thing? I don't know. I, I found it too hard. Um, it's rather nice buying, you know, a woman presents. I find I, I don't have a lot. Of, I'll just clarify: so I don't have a lot of interest in women at, at, at all anymore. But uh, the few that I do, who was who are good to me and who, who are always polite and kind, um, don't put me down, support me, blah blah blah, the whole thing. Uh, yeah, I I like to yeah buy them a present. It's good fun. Yeah, it gives them a lift. It gives me a lift. I don't like sending money. It's sort of like, uh, yeah, but if, if I buy them something, a top or a shirt or a bottle of perfume um, or something like that, yeah, it just it's sort of, it's it's just nice for giving a gift, I find. I just found myself saying blah, blah, blah. That's the other thing Filipino women don't like. It's the blah, blah, blah. <laughs> they don't like blah, blah, blah. Talking, you know, talking too much. No. They don't like a lot of talking. Yeah, probably because they want to do the talking and tell you how to live your life what they want you to do for them yeah but if, if they don't like talking they don't like drinking okay, they don't like a lot of things um, I don't have a problem with Boomba in the talking respect in Eastern Europe she, she listens to all, my, all of my recordings and what have you so um, yeah it, it, it's different people different things it, and, and it's, it's probably be good if, if, if we can get a sort of a, a bit of you know on the channel anyway you know, a bit of, if somebody, you know, can do some thingos about different nationalities, uh, some videos about, you know, what different chicks are like and what they've discovered and what they, you know, what their experience is. I think it would be handy for MGTOW to know because, I mean, it's, although, yeah, okay, the idea is you, you don't want to form relationships and what have you, um, but sometimes you feel like dabbling. And particularly if, if, if MGTOW starts to wane a little bit, you start thinking, oh, I might try a bit of company, but I don't like Western women. You know, what will I do? And so it would be handy if, if people, if somebody, you know, can add comments to this or maybe do a video and, and put the link on this this um, this thread. So, that, you know, we sort of just get a, a bit of different intel about... I, I'm not suggesting, I'm not, rec I'm not pushing, you know, women or anything, but, but, but that's what happened, or certainly what happened with me. Yep, and I was I was MGTOW and and still chatting to them. I'm I, my talking, talking. I'm just talking. Uh, you know, I'm not marrying them. I'm not not having sex with them or anything else like that. They're just somebody to talk to. But even even that can be um, it can be problematic. With you know, if you don't know your way around third world countries, if you don't have some understanding of them. I mean, I've never been there. And I doubt very much I'll ever go. Uh, yeah, but uh, in, in fact, you know, if it got right down to it, uh, Indonesians are another another group. I think they're a lot of fun. You know, they're, they're actually great sense of humour. Um, um, I mean, at, at South Filipinos, you know, a lot, the, the women there have got a great sense of humour, and they're all multilingual. You're all at least bilingual. Yeah. So I mean, it's it's, it's not a bad bad way to um, to socialize if you're uh oh like if you just don't want to you just don't want to go into the dating scene at home yeah just go online and, and it's it's not a bad way to socialize it's died a lot in the room that i chat in um we're not getting the cam girls in there anymore uh, it seems that they just won't make any money so they don't go in um but it's a bit of fun it's it's a, it's it's a it's an outlet. Uh, I've I've gone off it, um, but but I, I wouldn't rule it out for, for others. You know, I think it's something. But just be aware of that. That 
you know, like it, it's they're after money, okay? Um, you know, you can go there looking for love, but the chances are, for for them, life is a business. Uh, but still, enjoy it for what it is if you want to, okay? But just remember, you remember the mantra, okay? Getting it now, just don't let it beat you. <laughs> don't let it get on top of you. Don't let it beat you. There's no reason for it. Talk to you.